So today I'd like to discuss how often should you change your oil? According to the manufacturer for the car we're going to look at, it says every 6,000 miles. That seems a little high to me, but not quite loud enough for us. We're going to go ahead and order some more parts. So the car that we're going to change the oil on today has around 3,000 miles on its current oil change and we just drove to Florida and back. Tired, it's like 3 in the morning. We're in North Carolina. North Carolina. with the contacts she's in rather rare form <laughs> they're in now though ah they're in now there yes and we've got some skibbies on swap the old pantaloons Like Did a little bit of driving while we were down there, came real close to 3,000 miles, so we're just under right now. Before we drove down there, I changed it, had about 1,700 on it, just because I knew we were going to be putting on some miles, and it looked pretty good, but uh, had a little haze to it. So now that we're at 3,000 on this change, I want to see how bad it is, even though the manufacturer suggests 6,000 miles. So we're going to go ahead and pull it in, see what it looks like. <laughs> Okay, so today we're changing the oil on a 2016 Subaru Impreza. It's just a base model 2.0, and right here we have the warranty and maintenance booklet, and we're on page 30, and it recommends that every 6,000 miles we change the oil and the oil filter. So over here in the notes department, there's notes one. So you look over here, it says, when the vehicle is used under severe driving conditions, the term severe usually means pretty vigorous, uh, the oil should be changed every 3,000 miles or three months. So there's a little dot dot there and we check that over here and it says examples of severe driving conditions. Short distance driving repeatedly, driving on rough or muddy roads, driving in dusty conditions, driving in extremely cold weather, driving in areas where road salt and other corrosives are used, which would be the same as snow and icy areas, just like we live in Pennsylvania, living in coastal areas where the uh, salt from the ocean comes in, repeated trailer towing. Well, I haven't hauled the race car with this in a while, so eh, I think we'll be all right there. But uh, a lot of the severe driving conditions seems like normal driving conditions to me. I don't know. But uh, we just drove down the highway. We put on, uh, oh, I don't know, about 2,800 miles, something like that. So um, I don't think that that's too severe. We were tacking about 2,500 the whole time. And uh, I didn't hit the gas excessively or anything like that. So I don't know. I, I feel like... Uh, it, severe mm, not so much but uh, according to this your everyday driving is severe driving so um, we're gonna go ahead and change it and see what happens all right guys before I even turn a wrench I have to say thank you for subscribing liking sharing our videos giving us input if it wasn't for you guys we wouldn't even put the effort in to do what we do we appreciate everything that you do for us and we're gonna keep going Something I like to do when I change the oil is use a large, flat, clear container for draining the oil into. It's cheap. I know it looks chintzy as all hell, but um, we can actually see if there's any pieces in the oil then um, to alarm us of any problems. So uh, this one I see is cracked, so we're actually going to go ahead and throw this one away. But uh, we're going to use a, a large, flat, uh, clear container to see if we have any problems. So. Okay, for the 2016 
Subaru Impreza base model 2.0. We're going to use a 17 millimeter just like the STI. Uh, filter on this is easy. It's right on top, as you can see, right next to the oil fill. So piece of cake there. We're going to go ahead and drain it and uh, see what we got. Now, as you can see, that's pretty dark. That's just under 3,000 miles on the oil change. All highway driving. We went straight down to Florida and straight back. We set the cruise control at 68, and uh, that, that's fairly dark. It's not black, but it, it's pretty dark. And uh, if you want to prolong the life of that engine, you're going to have to make sure you're changing it. I'm going to be changing this thing about every 2,500 to 3,000 miles. Might seem excessive, but uh, we want to get as much life out of this car as possible. We paid a lot of money for it, and she doesn't want to have to buy another one. Now here's the oil filter we just pulled off. Has a dark caramel color. It's not black by any means, but it's definitely starting to get that burnt look. Um, there's what we have on the rag. So, you know, totally up to you. I know some of you guys like to stretch the life out of that oil change, you know, going 6,000 miles, but if you want to expend, uh, you know, all the money on rebuilding your motor early, then, uh, yeah, you might want to avoid this. All right, as you can see, guys, the oil, when it's spread out and filled up, uh, looks black. I mean, it, it definitely looks black. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's, it's very dark brown, but it looks black. And all that just means burn oil. So we barely have 3,000 miles. It's actually just under 3,000 miles and this is what we got so i'm glad we changed it when we did this goes to show you really shouldn't wait too long to change your oil filter and oil uh i've seen guys that say oh you should go 30,000 miles don't listen to anybody that ever says that this car will last hundreds of thousand miles if you take care of it don't neglect it don't make excuses change the oil you know it costs maybe 30 dollars to do it myself Okay, so getting this thing back together, we're using a pH 7317 and five quarts of zero W20. You know, we prefer a certain brand. We're gonna go ahead and use that, but you guys use what you want to. It's full synthetic, and uh, that's about all you need for the job, five quarts and a filter. Take number two. Seventeen, I believe it is. Round trip, whatever. Um, recording. Um, and uh, uh, so it 